you are watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel. Thank you so much for having me. Well, let's focus on this another controversy, uh, you know, uh, SNC Lavalin issue mm -hmm. uh, that has engulfed the whole Liberal government. In 2015, the RCMP um, leveled charges against the company. They're alleged to have bribed Libyan officials for contracts, among other things. Um, some of the more egregious allegations have been that they even paid for prostitutes for Muammar Gaddafi's son. So this is a pretty serious criminal trial. I experienced a consistent and sustained effort by many people within the government to seek to politically interfere in the exercise of prosecutorial discretion in my role as the Attorney General of Canada in an inappropriate effort to secure a deferred prosecution agreement with SNC-Lavalin. Jody Wilson-Raybould alleged that the Prime Minister's office, the Prime Minister himself, uh, as well as the senior bureaucrat in the government, put pressure on her, political pressure, after she had made the decision to not intervene in the decision for it to go to a trial. RCMP or anybody, any other law enforcement agency, they lay down criminal charges. Mm. That is the point that you could be asking for a resignation. We have called on the Prime Minister to resign over this, and our party leader, Andrew Scheer, has called in the RCMP, asked the RCMP to start an investigation around the criminal allegations. Well, it's just very important that Justin Trudeau is held accountable for what he's done. This is a very uh, disturbing and disgusting example of liberal corruption using their power in government to let their friends off the hook. And Canadians won't forget this and uh, I'm going to do everything I can to hold Justin Trudeau accountable. Do you yeah. think that if the Conservative government, you are elected to power, um, will, you, will you still keep DPAs or are you let it go? What we commit to and what Andrew Scheer has been saying all week is those decisions need to be left to the public prosecutor. In her testimony, Jody Wilson, she, she said 11 members did interfere from her perspective and she said yes, she was being pressured by all these guys. What Jody Wilson-Raybould said was that she made the decision not to intervene. Her decision was made and then all the pressure happened, right? And defending the integrity of our, our rule of law. Um, I continue to say that there was no inappropriate pressure. She indicated to me that she uh, she had made a decision. I asked her if she could revisit that decision, if she was uh, open to uh, considering, to looking at it once again, uh, and she said that she would. She was asked, do you think it was illegal? She said, she never mentioned it was illegal. She said, yes, it was immoral. There is a lot of discussion about whether or not it was criminal. That is up to the RCMP to investigate. What do you think the Conservative Party would be fighting? What would be their agenda for the next upcoming elections? Why should they elect you? We had a major project that was committed under our government uh, for, for light rapid transit that has never been built by this government. How do you plan to integrate the newcomers to Canada? Justin Trudeau is going to be spending a lot of time talking about his scandals. I'm really excited. You know, we're in early days. You're going to be seeing Andrew Scheer out starting to roll out some of these platform. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y. A South Asian Canadian channel.